la kaftahi Got the idea, brothers and sisters? In other words, if you are strong in your mudarya, then brother, you are going to enjoy this very much. That's why I have been telling you, do a couple of conjugations every day. Every day you should do conjugation. It will make you strong. Okay. And I really did it. When I was studying, I tried to do as many conjugations as it was possible for me. And it made me, alhamdulillah, quite strong. Taftahi. How will I describe taftahi? Fehlun, mudaryun, majzumun, bi, hadvinu. Where is the file? Alya. He has your file. Which is anti. Very good. Ya yun nasu. La. How will you write down ta'budu? Nasu, it is mankind. Huh? How will you write down? It's not ta'bud, but it's ta'budu. What is the original? Ta'buduna. So la made it into ta'budu. Felun mudareun. Majzumun bihazifi noon. Got the idea? Fialun mudariyun. Majzumun bihazifi noon. Very good. Now comes, Ya akhwati antunna. Ya akhwati la taknusna. Gurfati, do not sweep my room. Bil miknasatil kadimati. With old broom. You will just make it more dirty. Do not sweep my room with old broom. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Now what happens here? La taknusna. Fehlun. Mudareun. Mabniun ala sukun fi mahalli jazmin. Why, you know, would you say this is majzum? Because of la and nahiya. Huh? That law tells me that this form, taknusna, which is mabni, but it is majzum now. Because law came. Hmm? It was an indication to you. Ya waladu. What will you say now? La, you can say la talab. Huh? Or you can say la tadhak. Both will be correct. Don't play in the classroom or don't laugh in the classroom. Okay? La Tarab you can say, but I think Tadhak will be better. Huh? Don't laugh in the class. Ya Binti. No, Binti is monas. Ya Binti La Tashrabi. Instead of Tashrabina, it became Tashrabi. Felun. Mudarion, majzumun bi adifinu. Where is the file? Ya. Very good, brother. Ya abnai. Okay, now it is all masculine. Ya abnai. Oh, my sons. La. Takhruju. Takhrujuna became takhruju. Got the idea? La takhruju min al fasli fi asnai dars. Asnai means during. Huh? What is the meaning of asnai? During. Uh, how will you translate? Do not go out of the class during the lesson. Takhruju. Huh? Just like that. Takhrujuna. Hmm? Huh? And you make la here and you drop the noon. Got the idea? Okay. <clears throat> Again, brother, watch whom you are addressing. Ya Sajidati. Ladies. Not one, but a group. Okay? And it is from Hafila. So what will you say? 
La tanzilna. <laughs> what will be, brother and sister? La tanzilna. See, tanzilna, no change. Huh? No change. Why? It's mabni. How will you describe? Fehlu. Mudariyun mabniyun ala sukun. Fi mahalli jasmin. Why do you say fi mahalli jasmin? How do you know it is majzum? Because la nahiya. Because of this, you know the fehl mudariya is now majzum. Ya binti la taqta'i. La taqta'i. Do not cut. What is it that you want to cut? Lahma. Mafulun bihi. Bihazat sikkini. Let us analyze it, brother. What is la? La annahiyatu. Okay? And taqta'i. Pialun, mutarion, majzumun, bihazminun. Where is the file? Ya. Are you with me? I will write down, brother. La. Taktai. Huh? Got the idea? La taktai. <coughs> okay. Lahma. What is lahma? I know that. Mafurun <laughs> bi. Okay. B. Harf jar. What is haza? Isam majroor. And brother Abdul Samad, what is sikin? Badal. Mashallah. Mashallah. See, now, I'm sure, uh, brothers and sisters, you must feel a special happiness and satisfaction in the heart. You are following it now. Now, Badal is no longer a stranger. You know? We know Badal very well, alhamdulillah. Very good, brothers and sisters. Ya ikhwanu. La tazhabu. Instead of tazhabuna, it became tazhabu. Karta idea, el al mata ami, kabla satis wahidati. Ya aba bakrin, la, la taktub, kalas, la taktub, ala saburati. Do not write on the board. Tamal, ponder what follows. La an nafiatu, and la an. Nahiyatu. What is the first sentence, brother? What is the first sentence? La an nafiyatu. Lima la taakulu yaqi. What is the translation? Lima la taakulu yaqi. Why are you not eating? Huh? A guest comes to your uh, house. You offer him some some halwa puri, and he's not eating. So what will you say to him? Lima la taakulu yaki. Why are you not eating? Huh? He said, I was expecting biryani, not halwa puri. <laughs> okay, now you want to tell him, don't eat. La nahiya, la tazhab. Don't go. Now do you see, brother, when la and nafiyatu came, it did not change the mudariya. The mudariya was left alone. And when the La Nahiya came, it changed. I got two more examples of La Nahiya from Quran. Inshallah, later on I'm going to write it for you. Okay. Now the next explanation, brothers and sisters, Tamal, ponder. Huwa yaktubu, anta taktubu, ana aktubu. Now you are all master in this now, brother. Huh? Huwa yaakulu, anta taakulu, ana aakulu. Now we will remember this. Huwa eh? yaakuzu, anta taakuzu, ana aakuzu. Inshallah we will remember this. <coughs> now comes Kada. Remember brothers and sisters, there are two sets of examples. In the first section... The kada is in Mahdi. And in the second section, the kada is in 
mudarya. Kada yakadu. Okay? And kada will have ism. And kada will have khabar. And the khabar will always be jumla failure. And the jumla failure, the fail will be mudarya. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Very good. Fataha Zakaria al Baba. Fine, brother and sister, what is this Fataha Zakaria Baba? Fataha Fiel, Zakaria Fail, al Baba, Mafulun Bi. Wakada Yakruju. Now, Madi, how will you translate? He was about to leave. He did not leave. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? He did not leave. He was about to leave. Everybody has got the key. I want you to open page number 48. Always keep the key handy, brothers and sisters. And remember, read the key. The keys are beautiful. Uh, may Allah bless Dr. Abdurrahim, not only for writing books, but for giving us keys. I always say the keys are worth its weight in gold, brother. Number two, the boy almost laughed. Huh? Means that he was at the point of laughing, but he did not laugh. Are you with me? That is the meaning of almost. The boy almost laughed means he was at the point of laughing, but he did not laugh. Okay. This idea is expressed in Arabic by the verb kada yakadu. Huh? Uh, highlight these things, brothers and sisters. Kada al waladu yadahaku. Now, even though Dr. Abdurrahim does not go in detail, but I'll just simply go in uh, some form of uh, analysis. Brother, what is kada? Fielunakis. What is it? You know kana. Fielunakis. Huh? And it is madi. Okay, fine. What is al waladu? What is al waladu? Ismukada. What is it? Ismukada. Because it is nakis. Okay, then what is after that? Khabar kada. In the form of chumla failure. Yadhaku. Yadhaku. Felun mudarion marfuun bi dhamma. Fail mustatir. And al jumlatul fialiyatu is khabar kaad. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Kaad al mudarrisu yakhruju. The teacher was about to leave. And in the first one, the boy almost laughed. Now is mudaria yakadu. The same analysis will come. Al mudaris is ismu kada, and yakruju is a jumla failure, coming as a khabar kada. That information is enough, brother. All I want you to know is that kada will have ism and khabar, and the khabar will always be jumla. Failure and the fail will always be mudharia. Are you ready, brothers and sisters? Yakadul jarasu yarinu. The bell is about to ring. Yakadul imamu yarkau. What is the meaning of Yakadul imamu yarkau? The imam is about to go in ruku. Okay? Perform ruku. Uh, note that kada yakadu is followed by a noun, uh, which is its ism, and then by a verb in mudariya. So, what is the sequence? Kada plus noun in nominative case. What is the meaning of nominative case? Marfu. Uh, it is marfu. And then the verb is mudariya. Are you ready for another example, brother and sisters? (laughs) 
You must know this. Huh? This is in the Quran. Surah Al-Baqarah, ayah number 20. Huh? See, now you will immediately feel it. Huh? Yakadu. Oh, oh, oh. This is a Nakis verb. Almost. Huh? Huh? And then where is our Esam Yakadu? Al-Barku. And where is our Khabar Yakadu? Yaktafu. Huh? Okay. So, but Khatafa Yaktafu to snatch, to take away. Huh? That is the meaning of Khatafa, to snatch, to take away. Okay. Now, in some dictionaries, you may say, you may see Khatifa, and in some Khatafa. You know? So, Yaktafu is Mudaria. Are you with me? Yaktafu. How will you describe Yaktafu? Felun, Mudarion, Marfun, Vidamma. Where is the file? Mustate. Takadiruhu, Huwa. Yadullu Allah. Because Huwa must go somewhere. Where does it go to? Al Barku. What is Al Barku? Lightning. Huh? Okay. Brother, Yaktafu snatches. Snatches what? Sight. Abusa. Why it is by Ra? Why it is Ra? No, you see, we have the answers. Why it is Ra? Mafulun bihi. Mansu. Now, you see, all these things are indicating to us, okay, that this is Mansu, it is Mafulun bihi, it is Barku, it is your Marfu. Huh? How will you translate now? The lightning. Almost snatches their sights. Absarahum. Huh? Absarahum. Huh? So you see, you can easily say, Yaktafu, Felun, Mudarun, Marfun, Bitamma, Fail, Mustatir, Takdiru, Hua. And then Absara, Fafulun, Bi, Mansub, Wahua, Mudaf, and Hum, Mudaf, You got the idea? But how beautiful you you can easily uh, understand. Inshallah, the time will come that you will be able to do the whole Quran like this. Inshallah, inshallah, slowly. It will take an effort, but it is within your reach. But then, sister, that is why I, I always say you have done a lot of sacrifices. Intensive course is not easy. It requires a lot of sacrifices. And you have already done it. And I hope you will carry on. Because this is an opportunity. If you grab it, it will change your life. It will change your life completely. You know, you will become a different person. Because now when you read the Quran, you understand everything. brother. When you stand in Salah, your heart is soft, your skin is soft. Because you are Talking to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and understanding what you are saying. We got beautiful verses, beautiful surahs that inshallah we would together analyze it, you know. Yesterday I was just glancing through Al Hakumut Takasuru Hatta Zultumul Makabir. What is going on here, brother? Once you know, then you you feel what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is trying to tell us. You know. Otherwise you can read it for a hundred years and don't understand. Them. So inshallah we'll do it. And let me tell you, some of you are very young. Sister Hafza, Sister Abi, Sister Sumaya, Sister Fatima. See, you have, a, Sister Madina, you have a golden opportunity in front of you. If you work hard for a few months and master it, that's it. And then for the rest of your life, wherever you are, whether you go to Saudi Arabia, whether you go to Syria, whether you go to Egypt <coughs> to study more, you have a foundation on which you can build a big building, you know. Because the foundation there, and you will enjoy your studies abroad, you know. Inshallah, inshallah. So you got this idea done, brother? 
uh, about the Kaada. So next one is Kala Uthmanu Lil Mudir. Translation, brother. Kala Uthmanu Lil Mudir. Rafa Yusufu Yadahu. Translation, brother. Rafa Yusufu is raised his hand. Rakada Yadri Buni. And he almost hit me. He did not hit, but he almost hit me. He was about to hit me. Okay? So, Rafa Fial Yusufu Fial Yada Mafulun Bihi Wahua Mudaf and Mudafili. See, it's so easy, brother, and so interesting, inshallah. In Kalabat, now this is a different verb. Huh? This is a five letter verb. Okay, brother and sister, we are going to do it later on. In Kalaba means to overturn. To overturn. Okay? Tau Tanisi. What is it? Where is the file? Sayara. Because Sayara is a monus, so Tau Tanisi came. In Kalabat, Sayara to Hamidin. The car of Hamid overturned. Wakada Yamutu. What is the meaning of Kada Yamutu? He almost died. He is he, still alive, but he almost died. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Okay. Now, Darabat, Darabatil Mudiratu, Suada, Daraba. Fial, Tautani si, Al Mudira tu file, Suat, Mafulumbi. Got the easy, huh? Wa kadat. Now you see, because it is monus, it is kadat tabuki. And she almost cried. She was on the verge of crying. Okay. Darabatifli. Tifli, where is the file? Tiflu. Uh, and mudaf, mudafili. How many words are in Tifli? Two. Two. My little fellow. Daraba, Tifli, Nazarati. My glasses. Where is the mafulun bihi? Nazarata. Are you with me? Mudaf, mudafili. Bil asa, oh ho ho. Bil asa, with a stick, he hit my glasses. Wakada Yaksiruha and he almost broke it. <laughs> now see, Alhamdulillah, you know, it gives me immense pleasure to see that you can translate. You know, Alhamdulillah. It's all Allah's mercy, brother, and your hard work. Now we come to Mudaria. Yakadu. Asatul Ara. Al Wahidatu. The time now is one o'clock. Yakadul Mudiru Yakhruju. The Mudir is about to go out. Again I remind you, Kada Yakadu is a Nakis verb. There is an ism of which is marfu, and there is a khabar in the form of Fel Mudariya. Are you with me? You will remember this. Huh? This is what when you use Kada Yakadu, you will find it. Yakadul Imamu Yarkahu. First was Kada Imamu Yarkahu. The Imam was about to perform Ruku. Was about to perform ruku. Now you will say the Imam is about to perform the ruku. Are you with me? Inshallah. Yarinu. The bell is about to ring. Lima darabta hazal walada ya Ali. What is the translation? Why did you hit this boy, ya Ali? Huh? Wahua Yakadu Yabki is is about to cry. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Alhamdulillah. 
Now we come to the next exercise. Ta'amal. Brother, in this exercise, Dr. Sahib has given a beautiful explanation in the key. I hope you will read it. Ana la ashrabu kahwa. Brothers and sisters, when you make this statement, then it implies that you don't drink coffee for good at all. But you only want to say that I don't want to drink coffee now. Then what will you do? You will say, Ana ma ashrabu. Now remember, ma is normally used for madi. And mudariya is la. You use la in mudariya. But here, brothers and sisters, you are using ma with mudariya, but at the same time you are using al-ana. Are you with me? So that it means here that I am not drinking coffee now. But then with al-ana. If you want to say like that, you know, I don't want to drink coffee now. Okay? Ana ma ashrabu al-qahwata al-ana. I don't want to drink coffee now. Somebody is offering you coffee and you say not now. Don't you say not now now? All the time, not now. Means I don't want to drink or eat now. If you say ana la ashrabu kahwa, then you are saying that I don't drink coffee. Huh? Okay, here it is just for the time being. Nahnu la nalabu korat al kadmi. What is the meaning of this? We don't play soccer as a habit. We don't play soccer as a habit. But you only want to say, not now. So what will you say? Nahnu ma nalabu kurat al kadami al ana. By putting al ana, it is only for now. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Huwa la yakrau suhufa. He does not, he does not read the newspaper. Period. As a habit, he does not read it. But we want to say that he is, does not read the newspaper now. Then what will you say? Huwa ma yakrau suhufa al ana. Means he is not reading the newspaper now. Huh? So then you will use ma. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? There are no exercises. And if there are no exercises, it means Dr. Abdurrahim wishes that we, do, we should keep this in our mind. Huh? We should make a note of it and try to remember it. Inshallah. Brothers and sisters, we already did fellow Tajub. Remember? Ma ajmala hadhi sayarata. How beautiful this car. Ma akbar. Uh, you are driving down the Bayview and York Mills area. And you will say, Ma akbara hazal baita. How big this house is. Are you with me? Now we have here, Hamidun tabilun. Ma atwala. Because it is afuala. Ma atwala hamidan. How tall? Hamid is. Fine. Hazi sayaratu jamilatun. How will you translate now? Transfer this into taju. Ma ajmala hazi sayarata. Fine. Now comes Damir, huwa tabilun. Ma atwaluhu. How tall he is. Anta sagirun. Ma asgaraka. How small you are. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now let us change it from the sentence. Fialut ajub. Unzur ila haulai tullabil jududi. Translation, brother and sister, Unzur, Fialamar. Look at these new students. Hum Kathirun. Now change it into Ma Aksara Hum. Now you will say Ma Aksara Hum. Hum Kathirun, Ma Aksara Hum. Are you with me, brother and sisters? Unzur ila hazi sayara. Unzur ilaha ulay tullabi 
al Jududi, and then now it is Unzur ila hadi sayarati. Hiya jamilatun ma ajmala ha. Are you with me? See, now we are getting mafulun bi hiya ajmal as a pronoun. So, this is how it will be used. Ma ajmalaha. Araita zakal baita. Did you see that house? Who was sahirun? You see a tiny house somewhere in downtown Toronto. It cost half a million dollars. It is a tiny house. <laughs> what will you say? Ma asgarahu. Huh? Got the idea? Alhamdulillah. You got the idea, huh? brothers and sisters. Write it, practice it. Writing is important. Writing will just reinforce the whole thing in your mind, inshallah. Al kalimatul jadidatu makadun is the seat. Makaidu mafailu. Ya abati. What is the meaning of ya abati? Ya abi. This is a very respectful. And a beautiful way of addressing your father. It comes in the Quran. Ya abati, O my father. Fi asnai, what is the meaning of fi asnai? During. While. Kazaba yakzibu. Kazaba yakzibu, he lied. In kalaba yan kalibu. In kalaba, yan kalibu, to overturn. Overturn. Now this is form 7. We are going to learn it, okay. But you know, you can conjugate it. Can you conjugate it? Okay, in kalaba, in kalaba, in kalabu, in kalabat, in kalabata, in kalabna. Khalas, brother. Yan kalibu, yan kalibani, yan kalibuna. Tan kalibu, tan kalibani, yan kalibna, yan kalibna. See, you get your foundation, everything is simple and easy. Inshallah, I fell in love. Sounds strange, isn't it? At an old age, you fell in love. I fell in love with Arabic verbs. You know, I was fascinated by them. You know? Inshallah, you will also fall in love with Arabic verbs. And they are beautiful. Huh? You will love them, Inshallah. Okay. Baka yabuki. Now, this is, again, uh, a nakis verb. We cannot conjugate. Huh? Baka yabuki. Okay. I will leave it. But we can do one thing. Baka yabuki. If I go to Hunna, how will you change now? Bakaina. If you know Bakaina, then Bakaita, Bakaituma, Bakaitum. So it's easy, inshallah. Okay, brothers and sisters, we are going to take a break and then we'll start lesson number 16. Okay, brothers and sisters, we are back from our break. Every time Mudarya comes, you will try to figure out Mahdi. Every time Mahdi comes, you will have to figure out Mudhari. So far, the concentration of our learning, the verb is three-letter verbs. Are you with me? And throughout Book 2, Dr. Abdurrahim is trying to explain the three-letter verbs in detail. And then, in book two, we'll get four-letter verbs, five-letter verbs, six-letter verbs, and other things. Now, when we <clears throat> were studying book two, you know, and we said so many bobs here and there, six bobs, and you've got to remember everything, in which bob it goes, kind of a hard, you know, till we get used to it. So when you talk about four-letter words, then you are wondering what will happen to us in four-letter words. We have so much difficulty in three-letter words. 
what will happen to four letter words and five letter words, six letters words. That's why some people always say, you know, Arabic verbs are very difficult. But I think that statement is not right. Arabic verbs are very beautiful if we study it in a systematic way. So I, brother, Dr. Abdurrahim will start now. Dr. Abdurrahim will start now in this lesson, four letter word. He's not teaching us in detail, but I want to show you in a detail, little bit. Further details will come later on. Okay. As we know, the three letter Arabic verb uh, is the root of the verbs. There are no two letter verbs. Minimum is three letter. There are four letters also, but 99% they are all three letter verbs. Now from that three letter verb, brothers and sisters, we add things to make more meanings out of the verb. Okay? So I'm going to show you now huh, what happens, you know. The three letter verb, we call it form one. What do we call it? Form one. Okay? So root is fa a la. Okay, brothers and sisters. Now we come to form two. Form two. What happens in form two? We have fa and a and a and then la. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? What happened here? The Ain Kalima was doubled. Huh? Extra Ain Kalima. Okay? So, how will you write this now, brothers and sisters? Fa Ala. How many letters are in Fa Ala? Four letters. Are you with me? Fine. We are not going in detail, but I just want to show you a few things. Huh? Alima. What is the meaning of Alima? He knew. What is it? He knew. He knew. Now, make the Lam Kalima double. Allama. What is it? Remember, when it is in form two, it is fa, ala, no kasras in madi. Huh? Allama. Are you with me? Huh? Okay. <clears throat> Alima, to know. Allama means to teach. What is it? To teach. Okay? So, Alima is Ya'lamu. Are you with me? No. Alama will become What happened? You. The Harfu Mudarya Remember? You is Harfu Mudarya got a Dhamma instead of Fatah. Huh? It got a Dhamma instead of Fatah. Huh? So what will be? You Al Li Mu. Are you with me brothers and sisters? You Al Li Mu. Why Dhamma came instead of Fatah? So here is the rule, brothers and sisters. If the verb has four letters, how many letters? Four, four letters. Then the harfu mudarya will get a dhamma. If the verb has five letters, then harfu mudarya will get fata. 
if the harf, if the verb is six letters, the harf mudariya will have fatah. In other words, if the verb is three letter, or five letter, or six letter, the harf mudariya will begin with fatah. Only, only when it is four letter verb, then the harf mudariya will get a dhamma. Okay? You allimu, he teaches five in your pocket. You allimu, to allimu, to allimu, u allimu, no allimu. Huh? Easy, brother. Huh? No bobs. There are no bobs here. It's straightforward, very easy. Can we conjugate allama? Allama, allama, allamu, allamat, allamata. Allamna, allamta, allamtuma, allamtum, allamti, allamtuma, allamtunna, allamtu, allamna. Never shy away, shy away from saying these things. The more you will say, the more strong you will become. So always when we say it together, participate, brothers and sisters. You allimu, ready? You allimu, you allimani, you allimuna. To allimu, to allimani, you allimna, you allimna. You will give a sukun here. And then anta, to allimu, to allimani, to allimuna, anti, to allimina, to allimani, antunna, to allimna, ana, u allimu, nahnu, nu allimu. Got the idea? Make it amar now, brother. What is the sign of doing Amar? Huh? What is the sign of doing Amar, brother? You drop Harfu Mudarya and you give Sukun here. Can you read Allim? Huh? Allim. Okay? Allim. Fine, brothers and sisters. So, what is Amar? Allim. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Another verb I'm giving you. Sabbaha. <laughs> it has got a beautiful meaning. I will not go in detail. Later on we'll go in detail. The meaning of sabbaha. We... We use sabbaha to glorify Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Huh? Okay. You are going to be surprised when you learn the meaning of subhana. You know, you will be surprised. Sister Mainas, subhana is a mafulun mutlak. Okay. Sabbaha. What will be the mudariya? See four letters. You sabbihu. Are you with me? Sabbaha. What will be the mudariya? You sabbihu. You can try it at home, couple of them, not too many. You huh? sabbihu. And now make it amar. Sabbih. How many times it comes in the Quran? Sabbih isma rabbikal ala. Huh, brother and sister? Huh? Okay. So, our Amar will be uh, Are you with me brothers and sisters? If I make a mistake, correct me. Huh? 